New research reveals that the brake pad dust emitted from both electric and combustion engine cars is more toxic than diesel emissions. Now, despite EVs using regenerative braking to reduce traditional brake use, their heavier weight leads to more dust generation. Now, this is from a University of Southampton study found that non-asbestos organic brake pads, which is what pretty much every car has, commonly used in the U.S. and across the world, are harmful to your lungs, causing inflammation and linked to cancer and asthma due to copper fibers. That goes out in the air every time you brake, that dust comes out. While some regulators aim to reduce copper content, global oversight and non-tailpipe emissions like brake dust and tire pollution remain limited. Let's dive into a problem you may not realize is sneaking into your lungs. It's brake dust. That gritty black buildup on your wheels isn't just an eyesore, it's a health hazard as well. New research is pulling back the curtain on how this stuff is quietly damaging your respiratory systems. Every time you hit the brakes, whether you're driving a gas-powered SUV or an electric vehicle, tiny particles from your brake pads get launched into the air. A study from the University of Southampton took a close look at this dust and found that it's not just grime. It's a toxic mix that might be worse for your lungs than unfiltered diesel exhaust. That's pretty serious. We spent years blaming tailpipes for dirty air, but the real troublemaker could be hidden on your wheels. Before I tell you why this matters, here's a quick word from our video sponsor. It turns out that the key to losing weight and keeping it off is not carbs or fat or even probiotic rich foods. The end game is having a healthy weight, more energy, and long, healthy life. And it comes down to a specific switch you can flip in your body to flush out unnecessary calories. Dr. Gundry calls this caloric bypass. He's seen thousands of people with dramatically improved health, even at the age of 50 or beyond. And this includes losing weight, getting tons more energy, and returning to the good health they had in their youth once they simply address this one key to better health. Not only that, this is actually associated with improving digestion, stronger joints and muscles, smoother skin, and healthier lives, meaning it could be the key to a happy life. Dr. Stephen Gundry has lost 70 pounds himself using his research and has kept the weight off for over 20 years and counting. His digestive issues are gone, his health is fantastic, and he feels younger and healthier today than he did in his 40s. His video has been watched by over 20 million people, and you can watch and learn more about it at thehealthyfat.com slash car. It's linked at the bottom of this video. He'll teach you exactly how he has kept off his weight for free at thehealthyfat.com slash car. So what's in the brake dust? Well, most brake pads in the U.S. are non-asbestos organic, a change made in decades ago to ditch the cancer-causing asbestos we've heard about on older brakes. Progress, right? Well, not quite, because today's brake pads rely on copper fibers to manage the heat and friction for stopping your car. And as they wear down, the copper particles mixed with other nasty stuff float into the air. As they wear down, those copper particles mixed with other nasty stuff float into the air, breathe them in, and they don't just hang out. The Southampton study shows that this dust sparks inflammation in your lungs, kicking off a chain reaction, and that's bad news for breathing. Here's the deal. Inflammation is your body's distress signal, but when it's constant, like from inhaling brake dust every day, it's like a slow smolder in your airways, and over time that irritation can make breathing harder, worsen conditions like asthma, or even set the stage for bigger problems like cancer. And researchers are starting to talk about the possibility this links to lung cancer, and if you're already dealing with allergies or smog, this is just another hit to your chest. EVs and hybrids don't get a pass either. Regenerative braking reduces pad wear, but their extra weight means even more dust when the brakes are engaged. And this hits close to home. Picture kids playing near busy roads, commuters stuck in gridlock, or even if you're washing your car in the driveway, you're all in the path of this stuff because you're cleaning that brake dust off the wheels. Unlike tailpipe emissions, which face some regulations, brake dust and other non-exhaust pollutants are still flying under the radar globally. So how does this affect your lungs daily? Well, if you're healthy, it might just be a slight cough. But for those of millions that have asthma or COPD, it's like adding fuel to the flames. Those copper-laced particles are tiny enough to slip deep into your lungs where they linger and cause trouble. Over years, that could mean more doctor visits, extra inhalers, and a higher chance of lung scarring damage that sticks around. It doesn't go away. But what can you do about it? 
Well, next time you need brake pads, opt for low copper, copper-free ones, which are available. They might be more expensive, but keep your wheels clean to cut down on what's swirling around your garage. But the real solution? Automakers and regulators need to step up. Clean air shouldn't end at the tailpipe. Brake dust may be small, but its impact on your lungs is anything but. So stay aware, breathe easier, and let's keep the discussion moving. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out our car review channel, Car Smarts. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. And if you want even more content, check out the links in the description. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.